all living things grow, change, and have an offspring, all babies. This is called the life cycle. The way things live and grow often depends on other animals around them and also the environment in which they're found. We're going to look at some animals that are born and grow very differently from one another. And here we've got the sea stars. They're an incredible animal because the adults look nothing like they do when they're a baby. When they're born, they're this tiny microscopic little animal called a plankton, where they float around in the water for a few weeks, then they go through a really big change called metamorphosis. So basically, tiny versions of what you see here. They drop out of the water to the bottom and then they grow up looking just like these guys here. Just like the sea stars, baby fish look nothing like the adults. They actually come from eggs and the eggs are laid in amongst the rocks or the sand and the corals or in the case of the clownfish, in amongst the sea anemones where they're safe. Mum and Dad, they fan them with their tails to keep the sand off them and then when they're born, as we said, they look nothing like Mum and Dad. They look like an eye with a tail until they grow up looking just like Mum and Dad. Baby sharks, aren't they cute? But you know how we said different animals are born into the world in different ways? Well, guess what? There are three different ways sharks are born into the world. These little guys here, the bamboo sharks, they actually hatch from eggs just like this one here. Yep, the mums lay a number of eggs and then after a while they hatch out of the eggs and then swim away. But when they're on their own, when they're outside that egg, they're really small and lots of other animals want to eat them. So that's why they've got these beautiful brown and white colours when they're small so that they can hide amongst the rocks in the sand, so they don't get found, so they don't get eaten. That's camouflage. But as they grow and get bigger, those colours fade. So they become a sort of a grey brown all over because they're big enough and strong enough to look after themselves. They don't need to hide anymore. The second way sharks are born into the world is through live birth, just like the great white sharks, the black tip reef sharks, the white tip reef sharks and the whalers, all born alive, just like us. They're attached to an umbilical cord and then when they break away from that cord, they swim off away on their own and they grow up looking just like mum and dad. And the third way sharks are born into the world and probably the most amazing is actually a combination of the first two. Just like the grey nurse shark, the mum grey nurse shark, she has eggs growing inside her tummy and then when they hatch, the strongest and fittest shark goes around eating and killing all its brothers and sisters until it's big enough to be born about a year later, it's born alive. That's the way they're born in the world, amazing. This little guy here is a freshwater turtle. And just like their cousins, the sea turtles, their mums lay eggs. They lay the eggs in the sand, lots of them, 100 to 200 eggs, and then after a few months, they hatch. They climb up out of the sand, down into the water and swim away. Now the reason they lay a lot of eggs is because only one in every 100 of those eggs actually grows up to be an adult turtle. And they actually live to be 150 years old. But they also can grow up to as much as 200 kilos in size. That's really big. As you can see, not all animals are born into the world the same way. Some go through some really big changes called metamorphosis. Others, they have adult forms that are just bigger versions of their babies. Just like us, the way animals live and grow is all about their best chance of survival. 